In this clip, I answer a viewer's question on Raspberry Pis and how they can use Docker for local development and prototyping against that Pi. So develop a bit. Hello. Question is, do you have any tips for prototyping on Raspberry Pi with Docker for ease of DevOps on IoT projects? So let's see, IoT projects with Raspberry Pi. So the, the interesting thing is you can run, so first off, you have to think about architecture, right? The CPU architecture on a Raspberry Pi is not x86 like an Intel, right? It's an ARM 64, I believe. So the first thing is if you're using Docker for Mac or Docker for Windows, right? The Docker desktop client, you can run those ARM 64 containers on your local machine just to get make sure your software works right and your Docker file works right and all that stuff before you send it over to the Raspberry Pi. So that's a huge problem solver, right? So that means you can develop your app locally or mess with your apps locally in ARM64 containers, right? So you're gonna need to use ARM64 froms in your Docker file and then whatever stuff you need to add into your image, you're gonna be building though, you can build those locally and you can send them up to a registry, right? And then jump in your Raspberry Pi, however you wanna do that, whether it's over USB or you just plug it in directly to uh, you know some sort of KVM solution or you SSH into it over the network, however you wanna to get to it. Then you would have Docker on that machine, all right, on that Pi, and then you would pull down the images and run them to make sure that they run uh, the way you expect on that Raspberry Pi. So I am not a Raspberry Pi expert, but from my friends that are, I, my, the sense I get is that it, you wouldn't necessarily be developing or creating your containers, images rather, on the Raspberry Pi. You wouldn't necessarily be building it, I mean, even, though, even though you could. It's probably easier for you to do that all locally on your Mac or Windows machine. And the way that all works, by the way, is QEMU. So QEMU is an emulation function uh, feature, basically, that you can download and use QEMU with other things, but it's built into Docker with the desktop edition. So it allows you to run not just ARM, but also other types of architectures and processors. And it will run those inside your Docker Linux VM in the background transparently. And it'll, so they'll act like regular x86 containers. And then once you get things you know rolling and correct, then you would upload your image to a registry that your Pi would have access to, and then you could pull those images and run them on your Pi, right? I think that's a better workflow than trying to make your Pi sort of your, your container developer situation, right? You, don't, you know, technically don't even need the Pi to build it. So go check that out. Um, and if you need more resources on that, there's a couple of really great people in the ARM community. Um, Alex Ellis has a blog. So that's alexellis.io. And I'll throw that URL in chat. Yeah. Just in case you weren't aware. He does some pretty interesting examples of Pi's, uh, sort of how to use Docker with Pi and all that. He actually builds little Raspberry Pi clusters for Swarm and all that. So check out his blog articles for more information. He's, he's a much better resource than I am. Thanks for watching. Click the subscribe and the notification bell down there will let you know when I go live every week to take your questions on Docker and DevOps. You can watch these videos over here or you can just go watch those cat videos you've been meaning to watch.